So this is part five on my SeaDo GTR 230 uh, stage one upgrade. Um, the last part of the modification is to add the Mac Tuner software. This will raise the uh, engine RPM up to just about 8600 RPM. So to add the Map Tuner, um, I highly recommend using Map Tuner's uh, website. They have a good video on this, but I'm just showing illustrations on how this worked for me. So you plug into the diagnostic port with the cable from the Map Tuner, and then you power up the ski and you connect the map tuner to the ski and then the first thing you do is actually uh, upload from the ski to the map tuner uh, through the, the cabling and let that tuner know what you have. After that was complete, then I took the map tuner over to my laptop where I've already installed the key on my laptop to allow the uh, purchased license to be uh, downloaded to the map tuner. So this is going to put all the information that I purchased into the map tuner um, so then I can take that and load it into the ski. So once the information was added to the map tuner, I then plugged that back into the connection port on the ski. And this upload process took about five minutes, a little bit over five minutes to complete. The map tuner can be used to look at fault codes, so I tried that and uh, just to check and I didn't have any codes present. When this was done, I simply disconnected my communication port from the ski um, and started up. In my case, I also had to set up my CanDo software to uh, change the maintenance interval on my ski since I'm almost at 200 hours. All right, we're all done. We've got the voltage regulator re uh, relocated. We have a new air intake. So we got a fresh air intake, a uh, much bigger hose on that. We got the supercharger overhauled, rebuilt, ready. I'm almost at 200 hours. We've got the intercooler cleaned up and remounted. And now we have an additional catch can. We have a different impeller for the jet pump. So the next step is to find a nice day and put this bad boy in the water.